Oh, who kid is here? Yeah, I mean, yeah, because one of you is Yo, who kid? a what different up, age. Kid? You want to do the <laughs> elevator show today? I heard you want to do it. I could be naked on there. <laughs> if you want, we're going full drum set in the elevator today. Nah, you're not, you're joking. They're going to load a drum set in the elevator. Screw Sam's show. Let's go have yeah, some fun. I could be in there like, Ugh. Obi's convinced that the elevator show is more important than the radio show. <laughs> <laughs> even though the show is still, even my show has his name on it. I don't care. Can yeah. you freestyle rap? I could do it uh, in French. I could do it in French. I yeah? Think. Yeah, but are you going to be able to even hear him? Well, if he's up and close to the... Wait, what do you mean camera? in French? Give me some French. Oh, man, that was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. he's Asian. We use that in the elevator. Uh, he knows all Trump. that shit. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Should but... we package it with the drum thing, or should we make that a, a, a separate episode? I think that's a separate episode, because that's the thing about the elevator show, is you got to keep pumping these out. If you use all your ideas in one show, then you're stuck throwing Bob Saget up every other week. <laughs> Well, tr no, I got I got only a few more left in the can, so the pressure is on. Which is why I got three more in the can. You're talking about so I need new episodes. I, I'm actually taking the elevator show on location. Wow! You're talking about it on location where? I'm going to go uh, to that construction site on 57th. Have you confirmed that? I'm going up that elevator, 90 fucking stories. Is it an outside elevator or an inside? <laughs> yeah, elevator? man, that's my fucking. It's a construction elevator. Yes. Taking the, I'm taking the elevator show on the road. But who are you going to fuck with? <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure right it out. There. It might just be a, uh, a, a video of the view from an elevator. Sometimes of it doesn't have City. to be funny. It just is an interesting entertaining. Obviously, sometimes it don't have to be funny. That's the whole reason I'm here. Troy's wasn't funny. <laughs> Troy's was more shocking. You should get like Kenny G on, on one of them elevators. Like, you know, since his music is in all of them. Well, yeah, but I mean, I, <laughs> imagine you just have Kenny yeah, G in the corner. People blunt. think it's yeah, like, through the system. Yeah. <laughs> That would be gay. Well, see, see, who kids got a? I, I'm I'm hiring him for the elevator show. <laughs> Are you paying people it. for the elevator show? <laughs> I gave I gave uh, Troy a little taste, tiny he taste. You gave him a little uh, to brag about, a little pocket money. Yeah, Get I gave him here. some pocket a little love. Money. Well, yeah, a little, <laughs> a little. How do you do? Yeah, yeah. Grease my palms a little. No problem. Oh, shit. Let's go do the drum thing. <laughs> this will be the last elevator show we'll be able to do in this building. Ah, this you're putting an entire. How are you going to get the drum set in the elevator? We got everybody just going to run it down. Because yeah. it's a. It's a. The it's, Cuban's going to help us out. Maybe we get there. Roland. Roland. You're taking like literally all my after show guests. Yeah. To put a drum set in the elevator. Yeah. Oh, okay. It'll take. It'll take five minutes. Yeah. I would like to see it. I mean, who are these well, little you'll kids? See it Maybe on, uh, Opie Radio. Maybe that. What are you? You're. A, who are these kids? They want to do the after show? That's my son. That's your son. Yeah. Okay, they're very white. I know you want to be white. <laughs> I know. But I don't think you're that white. Those kids look important. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a little kid wearing a polo shirt is With always his arms like, folded. He's probably the next Justin Bieber. They're, <laughs> they're showing him his future home. Or he's the next Sal. True. Whole lot of nothing. Right, we got some shit to do. Sam. All right, you're not taking Alan Thick Jr. away from we me, are you? Alan Thick Jr. Sorry, man. Wait, you're gonna take Alan Thick Jr. too? Well, because we have to need the people to carry shit. You're gonna put. Yeah, because I gotta film. I so, so out. tell me before you go. Tell me how it goes down. Because this is a public elevator in a big New York City building, and in New York City, it's not like Sirius XM owns a building. Right. In New York City, they give floors to different companies, so there's literally hundreds of people going to work in this building every day. Yeah. It's 10 o'clock in the morning, people, and it's Friday, which means people are coming in now, because on Friday... You're a little more lax. You sleep in. Is that right, who kid? You get to you come in a little late on Friday, right? Uh, you know. CPT yeah. for everybody, am I right? Uh, tell me about it. Um, so you're going to be dealing with commuters. So what do you do? You call the elevator, you hold the doors open, and then all of you get a piece in? Get a piece in, set it up, and then just get ready, close the door, and go. So it doesn't matter who's in there. Producer, That's wow. the game plan. The we got this. I'll let you know how it goes. I'll report yeah, back. Yeah, definitely report back. So, uh, All right, good luck. Uh, uh, I'll, I'll see you later, huh? Yes. No, you got to stay here, Who Kid. <laughs> who Kid's staying here? <laughs> Alan Thicke Jr. is leaving. Oh, okay. Alan Thicke Jr., you got to do what you got to do. Right. Opie <laughs> needs you. He needs you. It's his name on that wall. So, so you're telling me they're going to have a live band with all those people going in there, well, go, going up from floor to floor? It, not a full band, but Sal... Are you serious? You remember Sal Hukin. Yeah. He had a rough one today, dude. He was, uh, we really called him out for not being a good worker. Get out of here. Yeah, serious? we killed him for having no work ethic. He doesn't because he doesn't have work ethic. <laughs> and look, Rob Cross is following Opie to the elevator. Rob Cross is supposed to be a boss. <laughs> Shouldn't he be stopping this from happening? Hey, well, uh, uh, Sam. Yeah? I, Mars was leaving this, my studio here with the door open as Rob was following. He goes, hey, Opie. And Opie just goes busy. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, I think he's coming into your studio, Eric. I saw Rob walk that way. Is he in there? Yeah, he's in here. Ask uh, him what's going on. What's going on? Sam wants to know what's going on. Nothing's going on. Did you hear, does, <laughs> does Rob know what Opie's about to do? Do you know what Opie's doing? 
Okay, don't tell him. Don't tell him then. Don't tell him. No? Okay. Maybe he's probably better off not knowing. Okay. Is he going to uh, do a drum solo in the elevator? I don't know, Rob. I can't oh, tell I you. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know for sure. What is he, like the snitch or something? Like, Snitches get stitched. He's what? the boss. I just oh. put those two and two together. Is Ooh. that yes. what's going to happen? That'd be awesome. Who knows, you know? I can't Anything tell. Anything could happen, right? They just walked down the hall with the drum kit. And... <laughs> exactly. You got a drummer, a drum kit, and about seven guys who work for the show. Anything could happen. They're probably just going to put it away. Probably. probably. And as far as you know, as a supervisor, yeah. you saw them going to put it away, right? I saw them headed toward the studio where it belongs. <laughs> it's exactly right. Right. Legally. <laughs> it's about time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You guys are having fun today. Well, it's a Friday. Who could? <laughs> this, is a, this is a Friday show. I see there's alcohol coming in here. There was. There's, there's, there was some alcohol a minute ago. I guess they cleared out all the food when you got here. The fuck? They're like, no, who gets not coming in here again? What happened to all the food, E-Rock? I think, yeah, Rob's asking for the food, too. I think Roland took it all. No, he, gonna, he took it back to the office. Why? There's still people coming in here. Rob needs to have a little yeah. something to eat. There's no Ciroc in here? go check the office. You're trying to get some Ciroc, right? Yeah, get well, Fez Ciroc. is in here now, too. Fez wants food. Fez wants a sandwich for himself. <laughs> Fez deserves it. Yeah. He works hard. You want some food, right? Free food? Sure. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How's he going to say no? There's no ham or nothing in here. You know, I like ham. Okay, Rob's out of the office now. Yeah, who can? So here's what they, <laughs> they're They're going to put an entire drum set in the elevator. And go all out in there. And then Sal's going to be in there doing like a drum solo while people go in and out of the elevator. So that's his punishment, or that's just part of his promo? No, that's like, uh, congratulations. You get to be on the you elevator are, show. You today, huh? Yeah, you get to play drums and disturb everybody. Dude, there are people who work for banks who come in here. What if he gets arrested? Fuck it, right? <laughs> I mean, you got arrested. You survived. Yeah, I got credit, kid. I got street cred. Yeah. Mm, credit. Speaking of credit, <laughs> you know... Everybody gets credit when credit is deserved. Am I right? Except black people. Except black people. <laughs> Sometimes black people. Do you like uh, black comedy movies or white comedy movies? Uh, both. I like both. You do. So yeah. you've seen movies like uh, The 40-Year-Old Virgin, Knocked yeah, Up, stuff like that. You like them. Those are hilarious, yeah. You like those movies. Mm -hmm. Then who, kid? You're going to love This Is 40. The yeah. latest hit comedy from Judd Apatow. Oh. Who, kid? What happened? You're 40. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know the struggle. Uh, when I get hard or when no, I'm, that's not what I'm talking oh. about. This is 40 looks in on the lives of Pete and Debbie played, of course, by Paul Rudd and Leslie Mann a few years after the events of knocked up after oh. years after years of marriage. Who could you've had trouble with your marriage? How do you handle that? I don't fuck her. Right. And what do you do then? I whack off you whack or fuck bitches. Okay. Okay. Well, this is this couple deals with it a different way. They do it a little more. They're they're more of a comedy. Your life is more of a porno movie. Is that right? Well, the black side, but you talk about the white side. Of right, the, world. the white side. After years of marriage, this couple who kid is struggling to balance romance, nah. careers, nah. their own aging parents, and now their teenage and eight year old daughters, all nah. while trying to figure out how to enjoy the rest of their lives. Nah. You figured it out. Fuck nah. bitches is the key. That's it, bitch. This is 40. Features an all star cast including John Lithgow, Megan Fox, Jason Siegel, Melissa McCarthy, no. Lena Dunham, Graham Parker, and Albert Brooks. This is 40, Who Kid is an honest, candid, and heartwarming comedy about the challenges and rewards of marriage and parenthood in the modern age. This is 40 takes us through <laughs> Pete and Debbie's milestone meltdown. Nah, kid. As they each turn 40 while trying to navigate sex, romance, careers, triumphs, financial hardships. And everyday life. But this Jesus. is 40. It's a very funny movie. You got to check it out if you haven't seen it. Own it now with digital download or watch it anytime with movies on demand. 28 days. 28 days. No way. Before Netflix or Redbox. It's This is 40. So check it out. Is, it's it, funny on, movie. is it on Canal Street? I don't know if it's on Canal Street. Actually, it was on Canal Street before it was in theaters. <laughs> so it should still be there. That shouldn't be a problem at yeah, all. Red carpet with uh, Boombata? That shouldn't be a <laughs> That shouldn't be a problem at all, who can. I'm call Mubata. Everybody's been asking about this mixtape that you're putting together because I gave I yeah. uh, I gave the I gave the word out. I saw on your Instagram that you mentioned you're doing a big yeah. Opie and Anthony mixtape. Yeah, where um you know I went on MTV. I did a rap fix with Sway, and then you I, did. I picked it up on there because you know Opie heard. I mean, he uh, Instagrammed me when he heard the um the Biggie special I did. He did. Yeah, so he was like, "Yo, I love Biggie, man." Opie said that. Yeah, oh. B.I.G. So I was like, "Yo, I, I might as well just." I, I thought he was more of an Almond Brothers guy. He liked Biggie. I guess it's a New York thing because you know his Instagram is full of like you know those New York scenarios. Where, where is he on top of like 
goblins and shit like that? Like, what? He went he to the top shots? of the Chrysler building. How does he, how, where does he get these shots he from? He knows people. He was trying to find out where's Brooklyn at. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, yeah, that's what he was looking for. He couldn't find it from the top the of the Chrysler B. building. B.I.G. record, see? I told yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, yo, he called me, he was like, yo, I love Biggie, and I was like, yo, I'll just do a, a sample of These Nuts, Volume 1. That's the name of, this, of the mixtape? Yeah, yeah, it was the opening Anthony mixtape, it's called Sam, and all of you guys are hosting it. Now tell me, is it a tape? Are you actually putting it on cassette tapes? It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be, uh, <laughs> no, man. <laughs> oh, okay, I don't know, I don't know. Stop acting like a Japanese. Man. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know everything, Hookie. You say mixtape, and I'm thinking, you know, like, double like up the Japanese stereo now. speakers, oh, yeah. and, and... Hiroshima shit, yo. Try to it's, figure that shit it's out. A CD. We're gonna have hard copies because the RIA is gonna be some clearance issues online. So we're gonna give away roughly, I guess, like ten thousand copies on air. We're giving. I gotta go through ten thousand phone calls. You don't have to. Oh. I mean, you know, randomly, uh, oh, okay. some dickhead calls up here and they're happy. Just send it to them. When are we gonna get them? Shut the fuck up. Man, you know? Shut the fuck up, yo! Stop <laughs> calling me, man. You just give one winner ten thousand copies. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That would be and, Ill. and that, but that winner has to be from Canal Street, so he could he could unleash we'll go him. Back, we'll go back. <laughs> now, when are we gonna get him? Uh, next week. Oh my God, this is so soon. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it, 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 we. I did the March 9th death of Biggie, the the remembrance. You guys are doing the birthday version of Biggie, which is May 21st. So you have until May 21st to get rid of 10,000 copies. So we'll have from now na- from now until May 21st. Give it away. Giving it away. Give yeah. it away. Give it away. Yeah. Give it away now. And the funniest uh, drops were Anthony. I was dying. You liked his drops? He was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's Opie, Anthony, Jim, me. Uh, who else is on there? Oh, I forgot to give uh, Roland a shout out. Damn, he doesn't get shouted. You're on there, obviously. Yeah, I'm on there talking shit. But he, does, Roland, doesn't get shouted out. I forgot. Yo. <laughs> He's not gonna be happy. I gave fucking E Rock like five shout outs. I think you did. What? Well, you heard. I mean, E-Rock you heard about radio everything. You heard about the E Rock drunk show. He deserves those shout outs. E Rock, how do you think this Friday show measured up to last Friday show? <sighs> Huge disappointment. Really? And why is that? <laughs> um, I don't know who who was the focus of the day. Well, let me see. What did we do today? Is today we... your time? Was it your day? No, I mean, I told a story. I did the human growth hormone right, thing. Right, but you did. All right, what so the you... fuck? That was a se- I'll tell you about that, who kid. That was a segment, not so much the whole show. Oh, okay. And I thought that was that was a successful segment, right? Yeah, it was, it was something we didn't know about you. I mean, we heard a little yesterday, but yeah. going more in depth today. Is that entertaining? Know? Yeah. Great, great, great. Okay, that's what I strive for. Okay, we also, <laughs> I mean, they played, the Cuban was on here. The he... Cuban? Was it his day? I guess it wasn't his day. No, he just brought in the food. We did the viral videos. We played the Jay Leno clip. Oh, it was Paul Rudd's day. Paul That's Rudd, yeah. Um, who? T- so you're saying, all right, somebody had a segment in the beginning of the show mm. that kind of wrapped around the whole thing last... Was it Sal? You know oh, what? It was Sal. Don't it say was- that. And how did Sal do today? Uh, not good. Oh, man. I can't believe Sal oh, sucks, man. Get <laughs> the panda angry! That's his production. Okay. That's Sal's production. It's not good, is it? What, what, what's going on here? We well, see it sounds like an, uh, a lion. But it's supposed to be a panda. Right. It doesn't make any sense, does it? <laughs> and does Sal sound angry to you on that, or does he sound like it's just a wiener who's yelling? I don't know what's going on. Right. <laughs> yeah. A wiener that's yelling. It doesn't get the point across is the problem. And a panda, uh, they don't even roar. They just... <laughs> <laughs> they just start eating leaves more aggressively. Eucalyptus, whatever. It is. Should they be eating? No. Yeah. Maybe we should have played this instead. Sal's a kind. <laughs> Iraq has been all over Sal today, like white on rice. Iraq is is uh, he's a, he's a conniver though, because he's back in his little room. And while you know I'm talking shit on the air, Opie and Anthony are you know doing their show on the air. Iraq is talking into all of our headphones. Oh, for real? While Sal's in there, just jumping in with little tips. <laughs> hey, you know da 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 da. You know da 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 da. You know I just heard da 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 da. Look, the kid I, had a BMW until he moved into the city. What, what am I going to support him with? <laughs> and that's what he's saying. He's sitting there, and Sal's like, you know, oh no, my family might have money, but I don't have money. And Iraq is in my headphones, going. He drove a BMW to his internship, <laughs> and I'm going. He's talking all kinds of shit in his layer back the new there. Shit, the new shit. He's talking all that new shit. <laughs> Back in his E-Rock cave, the fat cave. You can't talk back but, at him? <laughs> when he talks to you in the, in the earphone, you can't talk back? Like, shut the fuck up. Not without doing it on the air. Oh, okay. E-Rock, I'm sorry I called it the fat cave. I was just Fine. thinking of things that rhyme with bat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to 516. You're on After Opie and Anthony Live. My nuts. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, buddy? <laughs> hey, I got, I got a little, uh, 
I was listening to Who Kid uh, yesterday on uh, on Shade, and uh, he was talking about uh, abortion dinners. I didn't know that you were supposed to do that. Yo, yeah. Can you explain to everybody about that? Uh, abortion dinners? I mean, uh, I took a chick out. To get an abortion like, First of all, a couple weeks could, ago. I don't want you appearing on any other radio shows except mine. From oh, now. sorry. Okay, sorry, from sorry, here on out. Not so. even his own shifts? No, from now on. Wow. I don't want to try and shave 45 anymore. I'm nuts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so tell me about abortion dinners. Nah, you, you know, I took her to have an no, abortion. No, I don't know. <laughs> but come on. You never, had a, you never had an abortion? No, I've never I've never had an abortion, nor have I ever Usually had to <laughs> have a woman that I was with had an abortion. A woman having an abortion means you're all having one. You have to take this bitch As a family. to the clinic. Yeah. Oh, oh. Nah, this is not my wife here. This is like a bitch that I begged. You know what right. I'm saying? So I took her, and then, uh, you know, she don't speak English from Venezuela. That's where the bitches you said was from? And, you know, usually Spanish chicks keep their babies, but I kind of, like, manipulated her, told her she has a big future at her. Meanwhile, she has, she's she's stupid. <laughs> she so, <laughs> so you're telling me, Huga, you see this girl. Yeah. You impregnated her. Does she have a future? No, she don't. She's, then, she's a stupid person. And I was scared out of my mind, so... Lost. Uh oh, Obi's back. Oh, We're shit. in so much trouble with the building. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, what yeah. happened? I think the elevator show's done. Oh, I knew, I knew no, no. Speaking of an abortion. <laughs> I yeah. knew you had to fly under the radar. Do we need to have an abortion dinner for the uh, I knew it. I knew for the it elevator like, show? This is stupid. I gotta film a few more episodes before what I go happened? big. They're fucking pissed. And Who then, is? There's some guy around here who's yelling at me. I didn't even. I just made believe he wasn't talking. <laughs> did you, did you give him the do you know who I am experience? No. You just put him on the pay no mind list. He gave me. He gave us the. On what planet was this a good idea? <laughs> Who said that? Who said it? It's, uh, Troy will know. I've seen the guy around a million times. Is he security? No, he's a, he's one of the guys who works on the floor. Who said on what planet did who, you think this was a good idea? On what planet was this a good idea? He's so back. pissed. I don't, even, I don't even know the guy. Oh, that's 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 the head of. Uh, Production here. He he handles all the. Uh, Are you fucking production. serious? You what, who, Mitch? <laughs> no, no. I don't know if he wants his name on there. Oh, okay. He but, hasn't been on the show before. No. Okay. He's extremely pissed, but I wouldn't give him anything. I wouldn't even look at him or acknowledge that he was talking. Okay, so walk me through this. You guys. He you, was so pissed. This is the beauty yeah. know, of the whole thing. Actually, I, I hate to say it, Sal could really play the drums. First of all. Yeah. What? Second of all, no one would get on the elevator. They would panic and run away. So you got Third you all, you got as far as getting the el the drum set in the elevator. No, it was in the elevator. We went all the way. <laughs> down twice but i told troy we can't go all the way down but he uh, something happened and we went all the way down he's the ep <laughs> he makes the decisions there's two elevators out so oh the, no so the elevator guy's like what the fuck we need every elevator today wow so that was our first and then one security guy's like i can't let you guys go back upstairs we're like look we're just we're just gonna fucking um uh, bring the drums back upstairs. He wouldn't let us. And because I'm calling the supervisor, so we're the like, building oh, supervisor. So I'm like, oh fuck! And then three or four other security <laughs> guys, they're in my face, really pissed with <laughs> the walkie talkies. And I'm like, uh, and then I have to hear <laughs> that guy walking down the hall is giving me, a, you know, an attitude. But I refuse to acknowledge him. He's like, on what planet was this a good idea? <laughs> he's, just, he, he's a guy. That, he just always has a lot of attitude, and it, oh. he's just one of those guys. And that's he's just grabbing the drums, uh, drums aggressively, like follow me. I'm like, fuck you. Who are you? He's like a I, don't, I don't answer you. Did he have any authority, or was he just mad? Oh, he's just, I mean, he has a little bit of authority, but he just, he just got shitty about it. And he's like, he's like, what, just likes to what, shake his finger at people. What, in, in what world is it a good idea to take wooden instruments in twenty <laughs> degree weather? And I was like, it's not twenty degrees in the fucking elevator. Right? Exactly. How about how about every world? It's a great idea to put a drum set in an elevator and watch people I'll be like, why world, the fuck is this happening? I'll tell you, what, in Opie's world, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I live for. Yeah. So then we're like, ah, oh, fuck, we're gonna have to deal with buildings. You know, um, the supervisor. He's yeah. the main guy, right? And I'm like, ah. And then the one guy's <laughs> pointing at me like, you've been a problem for a long time with your video camera. And I'm like, all right, relax. Who said that? So one, one of the other guys. guys. One of the security guys. Of the building. Right. Somebody, somebody that recognized him from doing so this. But not a serious XM person. No, no, no. So then we're in this area, this building I've never been before, basically where they, <laughs> they, they bring shoplifters. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> there was a secret door. <laughs> the little airport security Dude, room? Secret there door. was a secret right. door. Like a door that you wouldn't think was a door. What? And he pushed it and went into a secret, secret area. Secret door. Whoa. <laughs> secret fucking door. And what are you thinking when this is happening? So that, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> no, we don't care. Well, and they said, they go, we're going to need all of your pictures. Pictures and all your IDs. Sam, Sam, as soon as they took us to the secret door, Opie just looks at me and just winks at me and just grins. I'm like, Opie, I think we're in trouble. I and, panicking. And so who, I, I live for this. Who, who cares? Was, who was there? 
Uh, it was uh, uh, OB, me, guys, Sal, and then the, the yeah, guy with the attitude so like, on this floor that said, "What plan was this a good idea?" The, the initial guy, Sam, the initial <laughs> guy who unloaded us off the elevator, took the floor time and just yeah. threw it into the elevator bank. He's pissed. So just threw took it. the what, what did he th- doing? Yeah, throw he took, into the elevator bank. <laughs> he took a uh, floor tom, the big drum, and just oh it right into the elevator oh okay, like the like the thing that you kick. No, 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 the floor, the big tom on the floor, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Like that, you just play like this. Gotcha. And then Opie's like, "You're throwing around our drums. You're gonna break them." And then I try to turn it because he he. He kind of pushed one out of the elevator. They're right, and it, it fell over. I go, now nah, we got a problem. You broke one of our drums. <laughs> I'm trying to make it his problem. Now. Yeah, even I, though we broke, uh, I guess, a bunch of rules. And the guy's trying to rip us out of the elevator. He's like, come on. And Opie's like, no, no, don't worry. We'll just take it right back up. We'll take it. We're fine. We're fine. <laughs> Opie didn't. Opie, Opie wasn't happy. Happening. He was unflappable. <laughs> yeah. No, we had to get another shot. Completely. Was he nervous, Opie? No, not a, not a he wasn't. Not he was close, Sam. <laughs> the Cuban wasn't there to see it. He, they stayed upstairs. They that was probably smart. That was probably we didn't smart. Have any room. <laughs> there was there was room for two people. What? They freaked out. Who did? Uh, the engineer people. They're like, who 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 does this? What's going on? I went. I don't know. We saw you load it. I go. I know. Who did? I go. I don't know. <laughs> then what do you know? I go. I don't know. <laughs> just walked away. Yeah. The guy was really bitchy. He's like, you took this drum out in twenty degree twenty degree weather. I was like, dude, I own two of these exact same drums. You could have. And he goes, I, I don't want your kid. I don't want your kid. <laughs> I, so I did the math. I was like, I'm the only minority that's going to be on this elevator. I'm going to jail. I'm out of here. <laughs> But, and like you said, it's not 20 degree weather in the fucking elevator. He's just blowing off steam, trying to sound all angry. Yeah. Like, nobody, nobody gives a shit. You it's got like, no real responsibility here. Is that the sound of the drums being played in the elevator? That the sound? It's so loud, dude, in there. It's ridiculously loud. I would imagine it was loud in here. We hear it all the way up. And it just echoes through the entire shaft. I mean. It's like in excess or something. I heard that. <laughs> I like that. Is anybody in there with you, yeah. or is it just you guys? No one would get on with us. Yeah, nobody was getting on. I don't know if it's going to make the elevator show, to be honest with you. Oh man, it might just be a great story. Did you film any of the trouble? Not really. I was like, dude, were you rolling? And he's like, no, I shut it off. You're like, the, <laughs> that's why you're the so EP, anyway, Troy. I love that shit. I love like no, when I, it's still rolling, you can hear the guy I screaming at us. I don't, but I don't roll when I know I'll never be able to use it because yeah, it's yeah. too frustrating. Because yeah. I know there's no way they'll let me fucking put that up. Anyway, so then we're in this secret area where they take the shoplifters <laughs> yeah. and, and waiting for the freight elevator with the secret wall. That was cool as shit. So are you, were you, Punish? Were you reprimanded? Wait, wait, they called his parents. And all the other security guys like this, right? With their arms <laughs> yeah. folded, nah, fucking pissed. And then the yeah. Sirius XM guy fucking pissed because he's like ready to throw us the, out of the bus. The production guy. Saying what planet was this a good idea? And yeah. I the fuck he said. <laughs> so then the supervisor walks through and he goes, planet. you ready for the punchline? And he goes, ah, oh, man, big fan. <laughs> <laughs> big fan. And he goes, that's Get cool. And he like escorts everybody. Cool. And then the Sirius XM guy... Fucking pissed because he th- he, th- he thought he had me. You've learned two he, things. He was like, I can't wait for Opie to finally get a talking to, and he was he was pissed that we're all out, not in trouble anymore. You've learned two <laughs> he things. He wanted us to be in a yeah. lot of trouble, and I'm sure he's going to his supervisor to complain of course. about us. Number one, the radio show is pretty important. Of course. Number two, <laughs> you still got juice in this town. Of course. You know how great it would be if he actually got banned the from the building? The supervisor looks right at me. Oh, big. He goes, first of all. And I'm like, oh, fuck. He goes, big fan. And, <laughs> <laughs> and that, reaches his hand out. He, he, he's got good comedic timing. You get to meet oh, the wow. oster. And I don't know why the, the guy that's up here is pissed. It's not his fucking drums. He didn't pay for them. Yeah, I don't him. know why he's pissed. What does he have to do with it? You know why no, he's pissed? He's not a well, he runs, he runs that I'll department. explain to you why he's pissed. Because when you get pissed, you get to have this feeling of, uh, I'm the boss. And, uh, you know, I'm over you. He gets to shake his finger like he's somebody's dad. Did right. I acknowledge that he was talking even? No, not even. Not even, didn't even, not even close. Oh, he was laughing. Oh, he was <laughs> grinning and laughing the entire time. This I hope he's like I a kid going, for. Awesome. I live for shit. <laughs> so, awesome. so this guy tried to be the dad and really reprimand Opie, and Opie's going through his terrible twos, so he was having yeah, none of it. He's looking at me, and he's like, wh- why would you think this is a good idea? And I just I just didn't even answer my <laughs> No, you were cool, too. <laughs> Troy was cool. Sal was panicky. Oh, yeah. Sal, Sal thought he was going to get fired. He pre- he might still. We might have to fucking throw him under the bus. Well, that would be great, too, if they were like, look, Opie, we think we know it's funny, it's a good joke and everything, but somebody's got to be punished. Do it, Sal! Sal! Sal. Sal. Sorry, Sal. Sal. Sal's gonna take it for the team. Would you take it? Yeah, I was one playing. The I drums. mean, you really wouldn't have a choice, would you? They just no. fire you. It's not like. And you're fine. Your parents are rich. Yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> my parents could totally. My parents bought me two of those drum sets twice the size of exactly. that fucking kid. All right. Well, that's that. You know. I think we could use the footage as a little uh, after thing. You know, the logo comes in, and then you give them a little extra. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do with that. 
That could be the abortion of the um, elevator show. Right, right. Yeah, I still need an elevator show. Let's go, Hope. Nah, let's do it. Nah, fuck it. Hey, they, I could go in there. They're not going to fuck with me, though. They, they might. Like, what? Yeah, they might. What, what? nigga? What? You would say that to him? Yeah. No? But, but Sam, secret fucking wall. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> See, the, a whole secret shop? elevator? Where's the secret wall near? I can't say. Can't Top say. secret. I can't find that out. We might need it. We were in the freight elevator. That's like the top. Like that's what they bring up. Like Howard Cernan. and and like all like the big name like you know celebrities. Then, right, Lady, Lady Gaga, Gaga came up. Oh yeah, we oh, were in the shit. Lady Gaga secret <laughs> Beebs, wall elevator. Dude, Oprah. And and the Sirius XM guy is seething. He's so mad that I'm in no trouble. We're in the freight elevator, and they Damn. even start joking like, "Oh man, the acoust acoustics in here are pretty good." Who said that? <laughs> One of the guys. <laughs> it's like you know, it's too bad you didn't do it in here. The acoustics acoustics in here are pretty good. So can't post a picture of you guys in the elevator. Oh yeah, post it. Right? Because anybody who says <laughs> that it's not a good idea. To pick up a drum set and put it into the middle of a busy elevator during a morning guy. rush hour? That really sounds normal. It's, a guy it's fucking I stupid. I don't want anything to do with it. It's a fantastic idea. That's why Troy was made executive producer of only the internet's hottest new show, yeah. The Opie Elevator Experience. Woo! Wow. Like people forget where we fucking work. Like yeah. This isn't like... You know, Morgan Stanley. We're not four <laughs> floors down. We're 36, bitch. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, have a little bit of fucking fun. Relax. Yeah. Get the fucking butt plug out of your ass. <laughs> you think, do you think he might have had one in? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's uptight. Like, relax, dude. Do Nothing I know happened. him if I saw this guy? Yeah. You tell me after. Yeah, of course. Do I know him by name? Uh, I don't know. I can't wait to find out who it is. Just to know. Yeah, he never really has given me anything over the years. I already, I already understood his whole vibe. Right. So what do they do? They roll back up with you, or they let you go up by yourself? Did yeah, you? We went up well, by ourselves. well I, we, went, we went down, I, and they were like, "All right, you guys dude, can't do." Dude, we almost were fucking free because <laughs> they let us go, and oh, we're like, "All right, man. man, we're just going upstairs with the fucking drum kit." But of course, they were like, "Hey, we're fucking free. Why don't we film some more?" Troy <laughs> <laughs> so go goes, down. "Oh shit, we're going back down." I'm like, what <laughs> Because I thought, I was like, okay, we'll stop on the 26th floor because that's where the elevator ends. Yeah. And I thought you could just reverse it and then go back up. Yeah, yeah but if somebody on the first floor yes. hits the up button it's before you get to the 26th, Dude. it's going down. <laughs> oh, shit! So guess, guess who's waiting for us when the fucking elevator doors open because they're wondering if we're oh, still enough to come no. back down. There were four guys. Just sitting and then there. And the one guy throws our drum out. I said, oh, well, you're going to fucking pay for that. <laughs> <broken."> <laughs> you you like, said that to him. Having to replace that drum, it was so funny. And who's the one who did it? Was it the security guy who did it? Yeah. 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 I, I turned it, though, did I, Sal? That was great. He was all panicky, he like he like, might have to pay for a drum. Because he just fucking wung this thing right yeah, into the middle. Yeah, he's trying to be a somebody. tough guy. And he goes, I'm like, oh, you just fucked their drum up. You know that. You're going to pay for that. <laughs> and he goes, he goes uh, noxious. He goes, I can't take the drums off the elevator now. And we're like, I oh, will just go back up. He's like, I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. I'm like, I will just go back up. He said that. And he's like, I get him off now, and then he starts ripping him off. And then like you were all just team no respect. Ah, we got it. Don't worry about it. Because Opie's cool, and if Opie's cool, I'm cool. Yeah. We're just right. like, yo, as long chill as out. as long as Opie's cool, you guys are in the clear. Like, like, because at, at the end of the day, no matter what you do, if you go into somebody's office who's a boss here, and you go, Opie asked me to. You're done. You're in the clear. <laughs> well, That's uh, it. Maybe. And also, if you look we'll guilty, see. like if you look like you were doing something wrong, then it makes you look even more suspicious. But if you're just like, ah. Whatever. We're just yeah. having some fun. Dude, it's cool. Yeah, it's fine. It's good. Don't worry. So if anyone out there has an elevator I could use for my elevator show, you this think would this... be the time to start fucking this is letting it. me know where I could go. This is it. For you. I mean, I gotta. you could go up to my building. It's only three stories, and it's in Westchester. Well, I can handle that. And I could do a few in my building. Yeah. <laughs> Although it's your building. You're going to... cares? You're going to fuck with your neighbors? You they see them every day. They've never acknowledged me. I've been there four years. They still haven't said hi. So if you're not going to make a friend, you might as well make an enemy. Yeah, who cares? <laughs> that's, your, understand. that's your philosophy. I understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? All right. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. That I don't know if fun. I have any good footage, though. That Please. doesn't matter. You had a great story. Let me see. By the way, Opie, we just found out while you were gone, the Opie and Anthony D's Nuts Sample these nuts mixtape. Be out next week. Oh, really? Drops Bitch. next week. But we didn't really do much for it. No, nah, it it's for hilarious. It. That's the way mixtapes work. Like, yeah. they yeah. say, like, hosted by, and mm. you literally hear two words out of this That's person's hot. mouth. That's, <laughs> yeah. I just, dro I just dropped a new mixtape. You did? The Ratchet okay. Party mixtape. It's on my SoundCloud. Oh, oh shit. Real. You get that shit for free at SoundCloud? Download it, Troy Kwan? Yep, download it for free. I'm gonna have to be an I gotta do one with Troy. Yeah, be a, I love that. I'm gonna have to be an editing genius to make something out of this one. I'll Troy's like a club kid, though. And when you hear it, you're gonna be like peeing on yourself like R. Kelly. I threw some hip hop in this one. You did? Got some Danny Brown. You okay. like Danny Brown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny Brown's the shit. He's missing like an ill tooth, but he's cool. Yeah. 
not cool as Trinidad James. I wish Troy would have snuffed one of the security dudes. That would have oh, been big Wait, Were you considering snuffing no, anybody? Not for one second. You should have just snuffed what? him. Snuffing a security guy. Snuffing a security that guy. guy. That, that, that <sighs> guy at the end, man, he was pretty big, and he wasn't fucking around. Oh, no. <laughs> Well, yeah, but it's, uh, OB had already you know pissed them off. Take their like security suits off. They're oh, ghetto, it's man. On. Big time ghetto guys. <laughs> I know. I'm not. Yeah, stupid. They're not fucking around, man. They don't. No, man. And OB had already annoyed him by saying, "Well, you, well, you got to pay for that drum if you ruin it." Oh, the guy was yeah. so <laughs> bummed that that drum uh, tipped over. He knew. It's like fuck. <laughs> he lost all his power. Being obnoxious. I love OB turning it around to try to make it their fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, things people don't realize about OB is he don't give a fuck. No. No. It's great. I love it. No. Well, you know, daytime, you know, everybody's in here. The Illuminati's going to work. You yeah, the Illuminati's elevator. going to work. And there's a drum set in there. <laughs> this, this boom, 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 boom. This was at 9.15 when they heard, just... They said they could hear it on a lot of floors. Oh, wow. And, and I guess it echoes Gangsta. up the, uh, the sh elevator and, shaft. And by the way, That's if you crazy. go to our lobby downstairs, yeah. it's huge. It's massive. Right. And when he was playing, you could hear it ricocheting through <laughs> the whole fucking building. Because yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's got these high ceilings, so it echoes like a church. Yeah, like if you yell, you'll hear it echo. So, I mean, it was just drums. And what's, just, what's louder, like a typical person yelling or somebody in an elevator playing a full drum set? Well, I mean, you got a, more ra a bigger range of uh, s a spectrum of sound. So, so probably the drum highs set. Highs and real lows. <laughs> and, probably yeah. the drum set. And hitting a snare drum, man, that just oh. bounces off walls. Keep talking about the drums in the elevator. It'll, it'll make it a hot video. Hang on. I don't know it'll if this is... It'll be a very hot video. I don't know if this is real. Uh, Jim? Yeah. Are you, the, are you the service guy for the construction elevator? <laughs> and at the, at the building where Opie wants to go on 57th Street? Yep. Obi, the guy who's the... Uh, Can I go today? Uh, I'd have to make arrangements because you need uh, ID to get in. Can I go next week? Uh, we can uh, work on it. And do you need ID for the <laughs> drum set? <laughs> <laughs> what? This is my on-location elevator show. Huh? The, uh, I'm setting this shit up right now. Jim, when can I go? Uh, let me make some calls and uh, I'll get back to you next week. Any day next week, all right? Except Friday. I might go to Boston to see Jim Norton. Uh, what time are you talking? Right after the show, you know, I'll I'll I'll, I'll get over there nice around nine forty-five. All right. What, what? Uh, after the I'll, show? Uh, the show ends at ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> How are you gonna get there before they get there? Nice, <laughs> nice, yeah, nice. At quarter to ten. Uh, anywhere is from um, like nine fifty-eight and ten thirty. The ten thirty right. is when he'll be there, Jim. <laughs> the show ends at ten o'clock. He might go a little over, and then he'll get there. It'll be ten thirty. That's ten blocks. I, I could I could do that fast. All right, so ten twenty between ten twenty and ten thirty is when he'll be there. Give me a ride there quick. I got you. Who kid doesn't have me. a license? So, That's all right. For what? <laughs> <laughs> get locked up together like I am. I'm just going to change the name of the elevator show to the Who Kids Car Show. <laughs> we'll, tour around, we'll just drive around illegally no. filming shit. Do you know what the Who Kids Car Show is called? What? Cops. It already <laughs> exists. Oh, <laughs> shit. Racist. <laughs> that wasn't a that black thing, Who Kids. Like you, were, I mean, you were in jail two Reality, months ago. I so. love that, yo. <laughs> Look at his watch. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he shows off. Uh, this is my Friday watch. Oh, All right, Jim. So you'll hook it up uh, next week, Jim. I got your. I, I'm serious. I'll I'll be well behaved. I want to check this out. Oh yeah, no, there's some good views from up there. All right. So when are we doing it? Like next. Um... I'll uh, like you said. I got to make some calls and see what I can do, and I'll uh, get back to you on Monday. Can I, can can I bring some people? naked black bitches up there? That'd be ill. That'd what be day cool. is today? What day is today? Friday. Friday. No, the actual 22nd. day. Twenty second. Twenty second. So this is a new text. Why don't you read this text there? Uh, yeah, let me check it out. Let me give it a look. See. Make sure you read who it's from, and make sure oh. you read it properly. It is. Oh Jesus Christ! I don't want to read this. You have to. Oh shit. Or I'm fired. No, that's stupid. Justin Stang. By the way, you have Stangle spelled wrong in your phone. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Did I read it yeah, really? it's not Stangle. It's Stangle. Oh, with an A? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Jim. All right, Jim. Let's it's. What? He writes. Wait, from Letterman. You got to say Letterman. <laughs> Justin Stang. Justin Head Stangle, for Letterman, the, and also now doing side projects. For Head writer, World executive producer of David Letterman. Mm. Okay, listen up on this one, please. Read that shit, bitch. He texts to Opie. Wow. The elevator show is the greatest idea for a show. You are a genius. I wish I thought of it. 